Sultan Jetty, and we're about to have some breakfast. Everybody's on their phones currently. So messaging my life people know. Catching up with the world. Hello, welcome to my channel with me, Marie. If you're new, just to catch you up, we were on a road trip going from Albany to Perth on the southeast coast of Australia, and we're nearing the end of our road trip at this point. For this page, I had two photographs that I wanted to use. That Polaroid, I just wanted to trim down just so it had a white border on it. I don't usually leave a border on photographs, but on this one, I think it tied in quite nicely just because of the white posters, the main focus of the picture. And the other one is a photograph of me walking along the pier. So I'm just going to get those trimmed down and figure out the placement of where I want them. For this page, I didn't really want to start with just a blank page. Normally I pop my photographs down first, but it just felt like it needed something to start it off. I don't know if it's just because there was so much blue and no other colours in these photos. So I pulled out that sheet of 12 by 12 which is my absolute favourite and I'm almost running out of sheets of it which makes me a little bit sad but also I should you know get to that point of not using it for everything by now. We decided what to do today which was to walk down the Bustleton jetty. You can get a train down which is $15 and you can go to an underwater observatory to see all the fish but you have to do that with the train included, which ends up then being thirty dollars. For the three of us, that's ninety dollars, which means we can't afford it. We are on a budget, so we're just going to walk to the end of the jetty and walk back. I think it'll still be nice. Something else we've just realised about this pier: it is the longest wooden pier in the whole hemisphere. So, yeah. Even longer than South End. No. Remember, where is the longest pleasure pier in the world? <laughs> where is it, Butter? So I just mounted that photograph on that little bit of white card as well that I had spare from when I was watercolouring just so it matched the other picture. This really was such a nice day out. It had gotten a little bit windier but that mostly was probably to do with the fact that we were out to sea um, on the coast. Four dollars to walk the jetty and they use that for upkeep and general maintenance so that it's safe for people to go on. There is a train that runs between train tracks just here uh, so we cut it on that I think that was about $20 $15. $15 but we opted instead to have a little wander because we're not in any rush and we fancied a little uh, jaunt plus the train goes slower than what I think we walk oh really <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose look the train's coming look out in two hours oh no <laughs> grabbed out the sticker pad that seems to be the one I'm going to a lot for these layouts just because although they're not travel themed they just tie in with the colours that I've been using for this layout so I pulled out some of that dark blue to tie in with the photograph and continued pulling out a couple of the colours that were in that paper that I originally put down so a little bit of yellow and I'd probably pull out a little bit of that chartreuse colour, magenta colour, I think that's the best way of describing it, and just getting my photographs put down where I think that they should go. I was just trying to have a little bit of fun with this layout of not sort of overthinking it too much and just pulling out stickers that were kind of calling to me a little bit. I do prefer this sort of acetate stickers that are clear just because it means you can layer them up and see what's beneath them and I'm just trying to pull in some of the gold from one page onto the other just to highlight that a little bit. I think I come back to the full of gratitude sticker that I'd seen to match in with that pink. Yep, there we go. I thought I went back to that just because that up top left hand corner needed just something and since this page didn't really have a title that seemed to fit perfectly. I did want to spell out Bustleton these, I think, a Chamel alphabet sticker pack. They're not very sticky, and as you can see on my hand, I 
think I'm doubting whether Busselton has one out or two, so I think I've previously checked that on one of my other pages, and I do nip back and make sure I know, yeah, there's only one out in Busselton. Um, but I did miss out pulling out a T, I think. Have I spelled it right? Yeah, I've spelled it right. Unless somebody from Busselton is watching, and I'm so sorry if it is, it is double S, and I haven't googled it properly. I'm really struggling to get those letters to fit on that banner. I think in my head it wouldn't take up as much space, and it covered a little too much of that pink underlay, and I'm almost certain I go back and pull those off and move them just because it wasn't working for me. But I did pull out one of those acetate stickers. So there wasn't really much needing to on this page. I feel like the page needed sort of space with those busy photographs. And as I've still not been able to find my journaling underlay for straight lines, I'm still having to draw them out with pencil, which is a real faff and takes up so much time and energy, but also it would look a mess if I tried to write this much without lines as a guide. So I don't mind doing it for that reason. I was right, I knew I would go back to those um, letters because they just weren't working on that banner below and I had a bit of a space between the writing and the photograph, so may as well move them over. And I think I change it then to say Busselton Pier or Busselton Jetty. Yeah, Jetty. I was going to say it's, they called it Busselton Jetty. So just adding some glue on the back of all those stickers because they just don't stay down. Otherwise, they'll just kind of fall off after a while. And I'm just writing really about the sort of day that we had. Of It was just a little bit windier than it had been. So we were all in our sort of jumpers, even though it was a hot day. We got to see the train going past, and there was a guy doing aerial acrobatics as well above us on the pier in a plane, which was amazing to see. And so that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I would love some feedback if you do have any about these videos. I hope you are enjoying them, and have a great rest of your day. Bye! We're a long way from home. We're out to sea, 1.841 kilometres. The longest timber pile jetty in the southern hemisphere. Look, we're right there. This is us.